Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash. And then uh, back behind me there, we got a little project going on. We're gonna plumb two of these Water Dragon 100 gallon tanks into one tank. So I'll show you how I do that. Let's take a look. So before we get started here, I just wanted to show you kind of everything that got laid out here and what I'm using to do this. It's not a real complicated project, but uh, unless you've ever seen it done, um, of course there's always questions with this type of thing. So got myself a heat gun here. I uh, got a hose cutter, uh, all this stuff here you can get at Home Depot. Uh, this is inch and a half crush proof hose and you don't have to have crush proof if you don't have it but it's just what i had for inch and a half so i'm going to go ahead and use it it's from a previous build measuring tape this right here is a uh, oil filter tightener and i'll show you uh, a little side trick it has nothing to do really with plumbing these tanks together but uh something i found this to be quite handy for i got some dish soap doesn't matter really what kind uh, I got some True Blue Recto Seal. This is great for sealing up threads. And then over here, I got some parts that we're gonna use to combine these two tanks together. So let's talk about what we have here. This one here is the most ideal to have. So you see, one will go here, one will go here, and then we'll just put the hose between it. I went to my local hard store, hardware store where I got that one from. And instead of driving another 20 miles, I had to make do with these parts. So it's basically the same thing. I just really hate to have more fittings, uh, but this is gonna work just fine. So what I'll do here is this will go out to the pressure washer. Just, I, I hate things that aren't uniform, that aren't the same. So this single one here, there's three, somebody's racing down my street. Anyways, I'll use these pieces to connect them to. So I'll show you how I do it. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna take some of this uh, True Blue stuff here. We're gonna thread these in here. I like this True Blue stuff because it seals really, really well. So. Probably should speed this up. This is kind of a boring process, probably. But put the blue stuff on. The general mount here. And we'll go ahead and thread this on. What I'll do here is I'll use this this oil filter pliers or whatever you call it and I'll just kind of just use it to crank it down a little bit more without destroying my threads there. I guess that's going to be tight enough. All right, we're going to go ahead and do the other one. Same thing. stuff when it dries it's just it's quite the seal just on a side note if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel uh, hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up hitting the thumbs up is like giving me a digital high five I'm not making anything by doing this I just really enjoy sharing some of the information that I've learned and if this is helpful to you guys you know by all means subscribe and hit the thumbs up all right we're gonna we're gonna thread the, the end of there well we're not editing you get to see all my little screw ups i just dropped this yeah we're just gonna add it up a little more okay so i got these in here Let's see they're about the same height, yep, they look pretty good. So I got the plastic here, you guys see that. I don't wanna get any of the, the blue stuff. It's hard to clean off, I already got it on my shirt. But uh, I'm gonna show you another thing that I could use this for, uh, these bulkheads here. So this, with this oil filter wrench, I'm just gonna grip it. It almost grips these things like perfect. And you see how that tightens down? 
it just grips it really good so I, ha I do have another video on my channel if you guys have not seen how to install these bulkheads i walk you through it's a pretty detailed video about nine minutes long on how to install these and how to fit these in uh, without having somebody help you so go to this other one just gonna crank these down real good don't want any water leaking all right that's pretty good so yeah oil filter wrench works pretty good for that stuff so next we're gonna get these installed into the bulkheads and if anybody's wondering these threads are inch and a half you could use two inch if you want i just was going with the inch and a half crush proof hose so i decided to just use inch and a half bulkheads and inch and a half threads all right again just put a generous amount on there i'll go ahead and screw these in and you see how the blue stuff starts kind of making a nice little seal on the outside. That's what we want. And we're gonna get this kind of level. That looks good right about there. Just a little bit more. Okay. Next we're gonna do this other one. Again, a generous amount in the threads. This will make it nearly impossible for this water to leak out through here. You guys can see that. Kind of the amount that I'm putting on here. Helps to have some paper towels too. Get any on your fingers or anything else while you're doing this. So, I probably got a lot more on there than what I need. I won't need this anymore, so I might as well close this up. All right. Put this one in here. Put in there real nice. The other piece stopped turning. So you want these things to be kind of facing each other as close as possible and as even as you can and the crush proof hose is just going to go in between them and I'll show you guys that in just a second all right now it's time to get some of this hose cut and fit onto these uh these fittings so it's going to measure this you know from line to line on here you know anybody can measure really it's uh seven and three quarters so I'm just going to measure my hose here Got a little curve in it, try to get it as straight as possible. Looks like right in here. All right, so these right here are hose cutters. The hose is almost too big for these, but it does work. So we're just going to kind of line it up. We're going to go ahead. Cut it here. As you can see, it is cutting, but when it gets down to the bottom, that's where it kind of hangs up a little bit. But let's move it around and it should cut just fine. There we go. All right. Anybody that's worked with this stuff before knows that there's going to be no way that you're going to get this stuff on here. It's just the stuff, you, you can't even hardly bend it. So what we're going to do, we've got a couple different things here. Um, this right here is dish soap. Uh, this helps it slide on real good. And I'll show you. I'll just do a general, generous amount here. On here, this will help it slide on. Use Dawn or whatever you got. 
What this also does with the heat though, it helps it bond to the hose a little bit better. Should add some napkins, but make this work. All right, we got a heat gun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up really good. Uh, there's another way that you guys can do this too. If you don't have a heat gun, grab a stock pot, boil some water, and take your section of hose, drop it into the, the boiling water. You can also, if you're uh, if you got that same boiling pot of water, you can just dip the ends in it. That'll soften it up really well. This is the preferred method. So we'll just heat this thing up really good. Looks like it's gonna take a little bit here. Go ahead and get it from this end. It's starting to soften up just a little bit. I could speed this up and do like a time lapse on this, but it's probably helpful to know how long to do this. One thing to note here also is uh, I'm not going to use any hose clamps on here. Uh, with the fittings facing each other, there's going to be no way that this can slide off. And, you know, when, when you heat this stuff up, it expands. So it's actually going to be sealed and there's going to be nothing that pulls against it to tr try to make it come off. Yeah, this stuff's really starting to soften up a little bit there. I'm gonna hit it from this other side. Yeah, that side's soft. Soften it up. See, it's starting to flex a little bit more. This is really good hose. Um, if I don't say this now, it'll probably be in the comments, but uh, probably wondering where you can get this stuff. This is, you can call it suction hose, spiral hose. I'm not sure exactly what it's called from pressure washer products, but uh, yeah, pressure washer products in Florida. Get with Lori, she can get this stuff out to you. I'm sure the, the power wash store. Um, Pressure Tech, Southside Equipment, they probably all have this. That's that's just where I got mine. I think that's about, I think that's about where I want it. So we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze this on here. You gotta be quick, this stuff will have a tendency to cool down. And then this is gonna be a little tricky to get this on here. There we go. It is hot, guys. I'll tell you that. Sure, burning my hands. Oh yeah, it's, it's hot. It's like grabbing a hot potato. You ever play that game? In place, make sure this doesn't warp. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little more heat on, heat on that just to kind of make it go the way that I want it to go. Look at this side. that cool you guys see that that's that's how you do it all right hopefully and i know this is really simple information anybody can do this stuff but hopefully it helps somebody out if you have any questions uh shoot it down below in the comments 
Um, and again, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.